Well, we really do appreciate you taking the initiative and uh, working through this course uh, through uh, your own timing. Uh, we also want to remind and encourage you to take the opportunity to get feedback as you go along. Before you fill out this entire outcomes map, if you're working on an outcomes-based um, approach uh, in, in, in your course profile chart, what we encourage you to do is build out your outcomes, your course outcomes, and maybe even identify your instructional strategies. Just build out this outcomes column before you add anything else. You might want to include the course themes, obviously put the title in, but if you build out these outcomes, um, this will be a, a good starting point, and you submit that uh, via email to you, to me. Um, I'll have an opportunity to see if you're on the right track, and this can save you a great deal of time and effort. So you want to make sure that you build these out. Now, I, I, this is the outcome. Uh, guide for this particular course, the course you're in. And you can see when you take a look at this, it's, it's on the uh, Moodle uh, uh, site as an example. You know, it it identifies, you know, articulating the type of development you need, selecting the type of methodology for developing a course, uh, you know, uh, determining activities, you know, the big higher level outcomes that you are being exposed to in this course. And then you can see some of the assessment and activities that you're going to do. Well, you're building either a DACOM with performance objectives or an outcome guide. You know, so again, once you build out these outcomes here and then you move across um, the rest of the um, outcomes uh, guide falls into place. So we encourage you, before you build out the whole thing, just submit your outcomes to me via email. I'll let you know whether or not you're on the right track or what adjustments you need to make. And uh, you know maybe it just might be a confirmation that, yeah, this is great. Watch out for these one or two things. And then you can you know, move forward. So take advantage of the opportunity you have to get some feedback to make sure that you're on the right track. I also want to uh, point out that there um, that with this particular outcomes map, um, you've got seven points, but we also have another example of an outcomes guide, and this one's for telecom training. And it looks like there's only two key outcomes. Well, actually, there are several outcomes, but they're put forward in, in the form of two specific compound sentences. So there is soft skills, there's questioning techniques, there's managing emotions, selecting strategies, right? And this is all about resolving customer issues. So the, you know, there's three or four outcomes or um, uh, outcomes within this broader sentence. Similarly, um, you know, th this is the evaluation of soft skills, questioning techniques, and the application of critical thinking skills to uh, resolve issues. So again, your outcomes guide can look a little bit different. It can be more of a point form perspective like you saw on the outcome guide for 3210 or you could have compound sentences. But then when you see the rest of it, you'll see that the activities are in point form. Similarly with the skills are in point form. So once again, we encourage you to outline your outcomes first. Uh, before you do anything else, make sure you've got your course themes in place. Also identify your uh, instructional strategies. Submit that first, get some feedback, make sure you're on the right track. Could save you some time and effort down the road.